thank you for uh, visiting CESIS and this uh, conference. Uh, and thank you for uh, that uh, broad insight uh, in technology where it's leading us. But I'm afraid, I have to admit, I actually do not understand uh, that completely. Do you understand where the technology are leading us? Uh? Long term. Yes. Um, well, look, I, uh, to say that I understand everything would be uh, unfair to uh, some smart people around the world. Uh, but, uh, of course, you know, I'm engaged in this industry. I have been in this industry for, for 20 years. Um, and so, of course, I've been part of creating the industry. And so I, I, I do at least have a, 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 a slight view on where I think it is going to take us. Why don't we start with why I think it's important that we're looking into this. I think there are some fundamental aspects that are happening on a macro level on our planet that we have to be able to become much smarter on how we handle, right? Let's just take a very simple scenario. You know, here in our Western world, we, we have a lot to eat. We have foods in our stores. And very often we throw away probably around 40% of everything that is ever produced. Whereas we have other parts on our planet that actually don't have enough food to fill their stomachs, right? So if you think about that scenario, we have to become smarter by use of technology to be able to produce, ship, transport, manage, consume foods in a much, much better way. Another area that I think is fundamental for us, we live in, again, in the Western world. When we're sick, we go to the hospital and we're very often taken care of. Again, there are areas around the world where People have the same diseases, the same sicknesses, or the same ac accidents, and they die because of them, because they simply can't get enough help. Now, I find it appalling that we in the Western world haven't come up with solutions to some of those very important issues. And so if you think about healthcare, you know, what we will, what we are engaged in and what we will see happening over the next 10, 15, 20 years is that you will have doctors in the Western world making operations on people in other parts of the world, right? Uh, not by going there, but by doing it remotely, right? We are going to be much, become much better on how we ship foods, making sure that we know exactly how much food we need to ship into Sweden or into the Baltic countries or into other parts of the world that have that requirement. We're going to be able to make sure that the food get there in a healthy state to make sure that the right people get it. Now, I know it, this all sounds very altruistic and of course I want to make a lot of money while uh, trying to fix some of these problems. But the fact of the matter is we do have a lot of issues on our plan that we need to fix and technology all is right. going to help. But these are the good things. Uh, what I am afraid of uh, that uh, computers are getting smarter and smarter and we can say that computers are even now are smarter than people and uh, they are teaching themselves. Aren't you afraid of uh, that uh, humans are not longer necessary for the earth? earth? No. Look. Uh, I, I look upon technology and computers as a means of making the world a better place. I'm not scared of um, technology. I think the problem with technology is that we're trying to resist it instead, instead of trying to embrace it. If we would embrace it, we would be able to improve our planet dramatically on so many aspects. Um, you're thinking of some sort of doom days um, scenario where you will have these robots well, why not? <laughs> w walking around the street and, and basically shooting, uh, shooting people. Look, I, I, um, at least in, in our lifetime, in yours and in mine, that will never ever happen. Do I ever believe that will happen? No, I don't think that that will happen. Um, is there a possibility for it? I don't think I'm intelligent enough to, uh, to calculate the possibility. But it's not something that I, that I am uh, losing sleep over, let's put it like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned uh, one big problem uh, in your uh, performance, and that is uh, Earth's uh, overshoot. Mm -hmm. uh, we consume more than Earth can produce. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, if we don't buy stuff, 
uh, economics and financial system collapse, isn't it? Well, I'm not suggesting that we should stop buying things, but what I am suggesting is that we should be changing how we consume things and how we produce things. If you think about your washing machine, the, the example that I took up here, right? There is no reason for the washing machine manufacturer to actually produce a washing machine that breaks down seven to, after seven to eight years. Because they have the technology and the ability to build washing machines that last longer. Now the reason why they haven't changed that yet is because it's going to fundamentally change their financial statements. Now it's going to take time for them to make that shift from that linear business model to that circular business model where they actually are in recurring revenue instead. Now what it's going to mean is that they're going to basically deliver the same service but they're going to use much less resources while doing so. And you as a consumer are going to get exactly the same service, but instead of having to pay upfront for it, you're going to have to pay monthly for it. So this is a win-win for all parties. But we're, of course, we're going to utilize much less of the resources. Mm -hmm. So I think it's about finding that uh, shift, how we're going to make that shift. I'm not suggesting that we should stop cons uh, consuming, absolutely not. Of course. Uh, that makes uh, sense, really makes sense, and uh, I understand that. But are we, as a society, global society, uh, ready, mentally ready, to make that shift? Well, you're already doing it. Do you use Spotify and Netflix, HBO? Yes, I do. It's the same service, right? It's just the, li the linear service technology of TVs that you're used to uh, buying, instead of having a TiVo box or whatnot, you're not buying a service. It's exactly the same shift. You're already doing it, you're just not thinking about it. Mm -hmm. So that shift has already taken place. Now it's going to go into areas that you didn't uh, earlier think that it was going to affect, but of course it will be. Your car is, you're not going to own your car, you're going to own the service of your car. You're not going to own your washing machine, you're going to own the service of the washing machine. Exactly the same as uh, if you would have a security alarm at home. Have you, uh, do you have a security alarm at yes, home? Yes, I do. How do you pay for that? You pay monthly fee. Yes, of course. Service. It's already happening. You just haven't thought about it. I just didn't notice that. Yes. Thank you very much for your insight and th thank you for this uh, conversation. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.